Good evening and welcome back to another busy Saturday in hell. No, not really. It's just another busy Saturday. Started at work and is now slowly coming to an end. Well, besides my shift, came home, my usual laundry, showered, I was a little serious on the face because I just. Well, I started my laundry when I got home, and then I showered and shaved. And then vacuumed upstairs. And then finished the 1970s Stanley Cup semifinals. finals which St. Louis beat Pittsburgh in six games. With this being game six today. So, starting Tuesday, I do the 1970s Stanley Cup Finals. So, there you go. Boston versus St. Louis. Anybody alive a lot longer? 1970? And there's a kid, a teenager, or an adult who remember where they were when Bob Yoder scored in overtime at home. Of course, now my laundry's done. Of course, I vacuumed down here too, so I couldn't forget to do down here. Yeah, a couple, got a couple baseball scores. We got Montreal playing BC, and it's seen 1917 Montreal with about three and a half minutes to go in the fourth. I think it was the fourth. No, it was three and a half in the third. Yeah, that sounds a little more right. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, third, three and a half in the third. So yeah. So how about that? So it's going to be clue time. Yesterday's clue that started September. Double Jeopardy. 16 letter words for 1200 bucks. Answer. Made popular in a 1982 Spielberg film. This word means originating outside of the earth. Question. What is extraterrestrial? Anybody remember the movie E.T.? There you go. There you go. And now we round out the double, je the double jeopardy round with, again, 16 letter words. This time for 2000. Answer. Type of coordinated activity designed to prevent or thwart groups like ISIS that use violence for political aims. Ah, uh, okay, I'm drawing a blank because because my brain's tired. By the way, tomorrow's final Jeopardy category is famous speeches. Ooh, famous speeches tomorrow. This could be good. This could be. Let's get it on some subject, somewhere, some way, somehow. Ah. Let's see, what else, what else could have possibly happened today? Uh, it wasn't as smoky out coming home as it was yesterday. This morning wasn't too bad. Ah, yes. The parents are supposed to cool off a bit Start at the start of next week. Boy, I guess what? Two more days before the kitties go back to school. That's right. Tomorrow and Monday. Best thing about the Labor Day weekend? Football. CFL football. Even better thing about Labor Day weekend? When it ends. Kids go back to school. Oh, yes. Things will get quieter. At least until Christmas. Yeah, let's not mention Christmas yet because we're not there yet. But suppose it's supposed to be the busiest weekend of the summer. Back to school deals. People picking up lunches and goodies for lunch and for snacks and Ah yes. 
just imagine Monday night being told, being 10 years old, being told, go to bed. Say, no, I'm not tired. You go to school. You got to go. Okay, there's supper for tomorrow. Go to bed. No, I'm not tired. Oh, it will be. Go to bed anyways. Yeah, that kid is getting, going to bed late, and then they you know, suddenly you're up and get home from school and you don't want to sleep. He's like, well, I told you to go to bed early. You didn't want to listen, so that's all on you. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and of course, the NFL season's come up pretty soon, too, so that's... Yeah, but I'll be finishing the 1970 Stanley Cup Finals right about the same time the first week of the NFL season is over. He's like, oh, really? Well, people who saw that series know. And we'll tell you. Ah, yes. Okay, so I think that's it because I'm kind of plumb out of the things to say. So in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned.